welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, this time out we've got uh, Harvin's uh, HX520 International and uh, this skin is up on the workshop so you can grab it if you want to try it out and it's a free truck it's a pretty nice truck as it is um, it's newer than I usually drive but I thought well what the heck let's you know do something different and uh, We've been uh, getting, uh, I've had a few requests and uh, comments about uh, going up the mountain in Colorado from MD Zuhar. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what he means, but this might be it. <laughs> We've got a trip from Fort Collins, which is where we are, to Rangeley. And so we're going to go up over through that park uh, and come down the other side into Steamboat Springs and then on to Rangeley. So... Uh, yeah, we better get going because uh, well, it's about 320 miles. So we'll hop in and get this uh, thing started up. All right. I don't know why they want me to drive all the way around the yard here. I think I'll. I don't think this is a one-way street here, so we'll just head out to the right. It's curious, uh, I saw this load. Like, I really wanted to do a low boy load out of here, but uh, there wasn't anything. Well, there was one that was further, but it be uh, to Vernal, and that would be a little long for a video. So I thought, oh, we'll just uh, ditch the trailer and take this... Uh, uh, non-owned trailers, I guess. <laughs> oh, what the heck happened there? What was that? Where the heck did that guy come from? Well, that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, so I just thought we'd uh, take this one. It's kind of funny. The, uh, it came up as a, uh, Got the warning, and this is, you know, where it takes you to that screen where it checks out your truck specs and warns you that it's a heavy haul. So it's just, I don't know, 66,000 pounds. Oh. Yeah, I got the seat uh, all the way back so I can get a good view at the mirrors. These mirrors are pretty far back or wide set, but they're good. There's a lot of mirror there. And the seat's as low as it'll go. I'd like it a little bit lower, but that's what we got. sure we're going to be going left up here somewhere so I'm just staying over in this lane for now Well, it's uh, Sunday today I'm recording this, and uh, as I mentioned in a uh, previous video, uh, I've been out putzing around with my old Cadillac, and yesterday uh, I got the plasma cutter out, and I cut out the uh, center bearing support area and the transmission tunnel, or the chassis tunnel, and after I do this, I got to go out there and fabricate 
um, a dropped mount so it's lower and uh, the whole goal is make the front half of the two-piece drive shaft straight in line with the uh, uh, transmission engine center line and yeah we'll see what uh, what this brings I uh, I had a, st uh, a drive shaft made up a couple years ago with a double carden joint or CV joint at the middle and the back and I thought that was going to fix my vibration problem but I made it worse because uh, I wasn't taking care of the uh, the front angle had nothing to zero it out because there's no corresponding U-joint. The CV joint in the middle becomes zero degrees because it, it cancels itself out. Same with the back one. Cancels itself out. And there's nothing to counter the two degree angle at the uh, front. So uh, if I make the front uh, shaft zero the front U joint would be zero if uh, that front drive shaft aligns with the uh, transmission and engine center line. Then the two, I can put that old drive shaft back in. The one I had made, sorry, the with the two CV joints in it. So anyway, that's what I've been up to, and I got to uh, carry on with that. Like I say, before I have to go for surgery, I want to get all this work done. So, looks like a nice, another Sunday out in the garage, putzing around. But it's going to be a beautiful day, so. Nice day for it. But, uh, yeah, this uh, Harvin's old school skin. Looks pretty cool. I got the uh, pinstripes on the half fenders and the tank. Kind of hard to make it out in this light. Got the uh, 24 5 wheel pack on it. I didn't realize we we're going to be driving through town this far. Should have probably got in that other lane, but. You'll see what's ahead. We can pick it out on the map. Oh, yeah, we do. It looks like we do have a right turn up there. Or if that's just the road. the road but there is right after that so we'll kind of make our turn around this corner so we can grab both lanes oops what am I doing here I'm trying for the wrong gear Must have the voice mod turned on. Oh well. All right, here we go. Heading out. Should be a nice scenic trip. Wow. <laughs> it's got a really loud transmission in it. Hopefully, this is what uh, MD Zuhar was uh, looking for. Should flatten this angle out a bit so we can see a little more. Well, 
that very well. That was quite a little uh, canyon there. I think we're going to get the uh, park gate here and the warning that we're not allowed. But we're going to carry on. Yep, we're not going to turn around. Sorry. This is quite a uh, scenic drive up here. Remember the first time I drove on this road was, uh, let me think, was going this direction. I think it was going in this direction. And it was a um, nighttime. And I couldn't see, I could get the sense that there was something pretty cool out here to see, but I couldn't see it because uh, time of day, it wasn't one of the, this is back when the nighttime was just black. Like, I think it was 138 or 139, and it didn't have that new lighting effect where the newer versions, even at night, you can kind of pick out a little bit of what's going on. So of course I had to come back in the daytime check it out. I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. We're gonna have to uh, try and get a snap a screenshot here pretty soon. Might have been a bit close up. Oh, I changed the um, the uh, LED uh, display here on my, or not display, but the uh, lights on my dash are, you know, you can change the color. There's a little switch around the uh, side, of, on my left side here. I can change it. You can make it do all kinds of crazy things. You can make it flash and <laughs> change colors and, oh man, be all kinds of Las Vegas stuff going on there. But um, I brightened it up just to see if it uh, helps you guys see anything on the dash better. Because it looks awful gloomy. But I don't like, I like that the lights dimmed a bit here when I'm driving. It's much nicer than having 
is all I've got is a bulb uh, over my desk over there where I do my skins and I've got um, fluorescent lights other than that down here and there and they're kind of harsh and cold and looks kind of looks worse than having it gloomy so um, maybe this this lighting here will brighten it up a little bit for you I may need to uh, do something about uh, some other form of lighting down here to make it uh, you know find some kind of compromise it's better but we'll see how this looks This is a uh, really nice drive. Oh, yeah, we're leaving the park. Sorry about that, fellas. See you again. <laughs> you can count on it. Yet, as I've said before, Colorado sure has a lot to offer as a DLC. Sure, we're going to turn right here, but have a look. Yeah. Well, that was a nice little drive through there. And this stretch of road isn't bad either. Uh, especially as we get closer to Steamboat Springs. Now this uh, truck, um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, like, for my taste, like I like driving the older ones, but there's something about it. I, I kind of like the, uh, the outside. It's kind of got that little bit of an edgy, different kind of look that the Western Star has, but uh, the, whatever it is, 4800 or 4900, whatever. But it's, um, I don't know, it's just sort of, to an extent that's, you know, kind of looks, kind of looks nice. I was looking at doing, uh, the 9900 as well, the 93 slash 9900 from Overfloater. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've, um, 
I started a skin for it, but I didn't get very far with it before I got sidetracked to something else. And uh, I got to get back on that. Because it's uh, kind of a handsome truck, too, in a way. It doesn't have all the little sharp edges that this one has. And uh, a little bit bigger. I think it's a little bigger cab and hood. Well, I don't know if you guys hear it. I hear it in my headphones, the stereo effect of that brake coming over the length of the trailer. Like you hear, you know, you're not just hearing the sound of the brake, the air brake from one location. It's coming through in stereo loud and clear. Pretty cool. I got to do a good old school skin for the... Uh, for the SCS trailer like I've done for you know that covers all of the trailers like I've done for the uh, Black Swan and what else Black Swan maybe the new old school uh, there's one other one I did forgetting what it is um, it's just it's a lot of work putting together a, a skin for all of the trailers I believe it's, uh, let's see, one, it's uh, four different skins, I think. And then you've got to do all of the accessory things for each one, so. You've got the um, optional rear doors, so you got the roll-up, the standard, the one with the arrow. you got the optional front ends, so the trailer, so there's a, the standard non-arrow, then there's the one with the deflector, then there's the one for the, if you got a reefer on, and then you got to do the side skirts, and there's a whole bunch of them, so, oh boy, we're really flying around there, I better hop in here, oh, look at us going, wow, get control of this toboggan, Okay, this should be coming into Steamboat now. Feather Rally beside us. Yep. Well, yeah, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a good-looking truck in a way. It's uh, too bad about the wheelbase. That's as long as it gets for this truck. It'd be a good one for. Uh, well, I should do uh, maybe um, a B double flat deck load would be kind of fun with it, and then do it with hard parking. This should be pretty easy to maneuver the trailer or easier with uh, backing up with this short wheelbase. I haven't done any uh, hard parking B-doubles lately. I haven't done it with uh, like a B-double box trailer be kind of cool. Oh, what truck was I looking at recently? I think it was, is it Pinkus uh, 389 has the uh, 
a dump uh, truck option for it. A dump uh, box. That's kind of intriguing. I think it had a tanker too, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look at that. if you could get loads for those. Oh, what's he doing here? Is he doing... I don't know if he's stopping to let us... Oh, he... oh, okay, there he goes. That was a little weird. wasn't very positive about what he was doing there. So I'm running the uh, the realistic AI, or realistic AI traffic behavior, or whatever mod, and it seems to help a little bit. You know, it takes a bit of the edge off some of the goofy things they do, but uh, it's not perfect. danger thing left is the, the, the two railway crossings up here. I, I, I don't know if it's improved or, or what. I did notice that um, I was driving the other day and I came across a railway crossing and I had lots of warning. You could hear the, the bells going and uh, the warning and I had lots of time to slow down before the barriers came down. But, uh, yeah, I was driving along here once, and I don't think it was this one. I think it was the next one. And I was flying along, and uh, all of a sudden, it went ding, ding, ding. The barriers came down, and smack, I hit it. <laughs> and uh, uh, and I, was, I had a triple uh, reefer on as well. And, uh, man, it was a mess. We were like accordioned all over the road. The trailers didn't come separated, but it was, oh, you know, everything was at like 50% or more damage. This railway crossing up here, like I, like the speed limit was 65 here. I wasn't even going, and then just like that right there. Oh, listen, it just started. You hear it going back there. It just started after we went through. Once again, this right turn here now goes up to Wyoming. Oh, we're going to go through this light. It didn't, uh, it used to be a dead end there. Or not a dead end, uh, like a blocked road you can carry on. Now this will work out. Looks like it'll be alright. Hopefully I didn't inconvenience him too much there. to turn on my tablet. Holy. 
I'm going to have to pull over and get a coffee here. I'm not, not doing very good on the shifting. I guess there's still no real indication of what's coming up next, Texas or Montana. I, I don't know if I've heard, you know, you hear things both ways. And I did see the little blurb the other day where they were uh, putting up, you know, their little update screen window thingy. And they were talking about the uh, forestry in Texas. And that looks like it's going to be kind of interesting. There will be a bunch of forestry sites in East Texas. So that's pretty cool. They're talking about the amount of Texas that's forested, and, and uh, it's it looks like the east of Texas is pretty heavily forested. So that'll be interesting. Oh, there's a cool site there with the old farm and the windmill. Not a good place to take a video, or not a video. Uh, you know the. Uh, Oh, here's another old timey looking place. Good place to pull in and for taking the photos for skins, you know. I like to drop the truck and then Oh, jeez. If I've got if I've got time, uh, you know, I'm not in a hurry, I'll uh, look for a good spot to uh, drop the truck for taking the screenshots to for the steam skin upload. Man, they got to change the oil in this transmission. I get done with it. site we're going to. <laughs> I forget. I don't have it up on my screen. Looks like uh, well, we'll see soon enough. No point in guessing. is this. Oh yeah, this is the one we're going to go in the back. What if I should do a mat here? I might. Yeah. 
I'll do what my friend Matt does here. We'll go around this out around here. I'm gonna have to run over a few curbs, I imagine, to do it. But this gets a yeah, it looked like it worked. It'll give us a better shot of getting that back trailer uh, over against the fence. Nice if this guy wasn't parked here, but hey, it's all part of the challenge. Oh boy, look at that. You got that uh, back trailer is going to get tucked in there behind that little wall. I guess if we get the majority of it on there, we'll be all right. Now these triples, whatever the front trailer is doing right now, you're going to be able to get that back trailer to do in about that same length. So we're, we're golden here. This is going to work. That little trailer will come right around. Awesome. Well, thanks for riding along, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's always good to have you along, and I uh, appreciate uh, your subscribers. It means a lot, and as I, <laughs> if you do get a chance, you made it this far, maybe give the video a, a like and a thumbs up. That would be cool. Decoupling. See how we did here. Excellent, except for we got a bunch of metal shavings in our transmission now. <laughs> oh well, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I guess the trailer's still there because we just got to drive away from under it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, well, once again, thanks a lot, and uh, take care. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.